What's up guys, Hadet here and in my last tutorial I gave you an introduction into game hacking and what memory inside a process looks like and all the structures and we looked especially at CSGO. Also I mentioned in that video there is something called VA memory and it's very useful if you want to learn how to change read and write memory or process memory. So we'll be looking at that and what it gives us uh, as an option to do and how we can apply it to what we want to make. So first of all, the only link to it is once again to the inside the description. So what you're looking at is a C-sharp memory class in .NET 3.5 from 2010, it's pretty old. So you shouldn't be using it just like that for making game hacks and uh, if you think that you've uh, be undetected with that, it's not true, you'll get probably banned. So you shouldn't be using that, but create your own instead. But before you can create your own instead, you have to know what are you actually doing with this and why do we even need this. So therefore I think it's very important to use something simplified before uh, making your own one. I have my own one for my private hacks, for example, so they don't get banned. So how to use this? Once you have downloaded the DLL, you want to go in your Visual Studio, you want to go to References. I'm going to get my mouse here. So we want to go to References, right click on that, right, and add reference. And then we're going to go Browse, Recent, and here I have mine, it's VA Memory right here. Uh, just check that and then click OK and it will be added. So I have it already here. So now we can look at it. So we need a process string uh, inside the reading memory which uh, gives the name of the process. So for CSGO it's CSGO because it's CSGO XE. If it's Firefox XE then it's Firefox, okay? And also we need our addresses, our offsets and addresses. We need them stored somewhere so we don't have to type it on every place here but we just change them in one place and they change everywhere, right? So this is what we think of before we create the hack. So next what we want to do is we want to create an object from VA memory. So we do VA memory VAM equals new VA memory with the process. So the CSGO process. And now we're ready to write and read uh, to the memory. So what we can do is if once we type VAM or whatever variable you use, we see a ton of options. So let me looking at that. Okay. So we can see a ton of operations here we can do. We can write a lot of uh, data types. We can read a lot of data types and we can do much more. What's important to us is the read in 32 and the yeah, writing is not so important right now. However, reading in uh, in 32 and reading we're also reading the float. Yes, we're reading the float for example for, posi for position and stuff. So yeah, let's try it out. So what do we need for reading int32? We open the brackets and we can see that we need an int pointer. Now how do we get the int pointer? It's very simple. So we have our int here declared and we just put int ptr in front of our variable and now we can type address and I typed address wrong with a double D. There we go, and this is our int pointer. And what we're going to do um, to save it somewhere, we want to make a variable in front. So this is, for example, some value. And we have it stored right here. Looking at our game, we had the local player and we had from that also the health and the team, for example. So what we want to do is make the address equal to the local player int. Imagine this uh, to be the local player, I don't have it declared so it gives errors. Plus the offset for health, for example. And then we are looking for the address. And now we get the value of our health, so it'd probably be 100 if we uh, basically if we didn't get hits yet. What we can also do is change our health. Now this doesn't work for CSGO, for example, but you can change the value of memory still. It will just uh, refresh itself to what the server says. So how we're gonna do that is vim.writeint32 in this case 
we give the address once again and we give the value. So as you can see it requires the data type int here. Looking at that. So we can just type for example 1000 and this will be written down. So this is everything we need to make hacks for CSGO. For example if you want to make a trigger bot, if you want to make bunny hop etc. So everything this, this is all we need. We need to make a an object from VA memory with the process and we need to write and read integers and possible floats. So yeah, I hope this uh, helps you with how to use this DLL. We'll be using it in the next videos. I, I promise I'll be uploading it soon. And once I get time today, I had just a tiny bit of time to uh, do this, what I wanted to do. So making this video for this particular uh, library. So yeah, this is basically it. I thank you guys for watching and see you next tutorials. Peace out.